Hi, I'm Jim Cook, and you're watching Real Life, the program for the Long Island International Film Expo, and I am with... Flavio Alves. Hi, I'm Jacques Mitchell. And uh, what's the name of your film? My film is Tom in America. What's it about? It's about an, a closeted uh, elderly man who discovers himself. And uh, I always ask the audience, why, why did you choose that topic as a, for a film? Well, just like all my films, Tom in America is a film about uh, elderly people, you know, dealing with all kinds of issues that, uh, you know, they, you know, as an elderly person, deal with on a daily basis, you know. So, uh, and what, what was your role in the film? I actually played uh, the Tom doll who comes to life in the dream sequence. So, my character is based off of the actual Tom of Finland doll. Can you tell me more about that doll? Well, um, I always have uh, like a, a passion for that doll. It's so beautiful, you know, and uh, so perfect, you know, and uh, it's actually it's known as a, as a gay doll, you know. So uh, I, I thought about making a film that was uh, about uh, an elderly man and, uh, and, uh, and uh, in a closet, you know, and uh, having that doll as a, 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 a I'm going to say, a catalyst, you know, something that uh, helps to bring alive his... Um, uh, his dreams of uh, you know having uh, uh, the opportunity to have a, a, a same-sex uh, um, contact, or, you know, and that was the idea. You know? I, I was really curious, and I don't know if you want how much you want to give away with your film, so we, if not, we can skip over it. But I was curious about the ending of your film, about his decision, uh, what he does with that doll at the end. Is that a decision of what he decides to do with his sexual orientation? Uh, I want you to be very open. I want the audience to be able to create their own interpretation, you know, their, you know, their own word about uh, what it really means you know, to be in his shoes. You know? So I don't want to give anything else, and uh, I want the audience to be able to create that word. I appreciate hearing that, because I, I had a couple of ideas. I, I appreciate open endings. Ambiguity, yeah. It's, I mean, you know, ambiguous. Leave it, leave it to your own imagination to finish the, the puzzle, you know, tell the, tell the story. So, Could you tell me um, what was it like working with Burt Young? Uh, well, a dream come true after, uh, you know, obviously Burt Young being the star of all the Rocky movies and, you know, a select few others that not a lot of people know uh, that he was a part of. But um was an amazing experience. Um, uh, <laughs> it was also uh, a little bit strange, too, in that, you know, uh, I, th I think this was Bert's first uh, gay character that he yeah. played. The first, time, so, that played first time, time he played a... The first time he plays a gay man. Gay man, know. yeah. So um, there was, you know, a uh, little bit of, like, uh, trying to feel, feel things out. Um, my first time playing a gay character as well. Mm -hmm. So, you know, we had a little uh, powwow conversation, like, uh, I'm going to touch your face now, and you okay with that? <laughs> <laughs> no, no surprises or anything, because I might get socked, you know? And, <laughs> so you just established boundaries. Established boundaries, and, uh, you know, we didn't get to talk a whole lot, but um, established some comfortability with him, and I think it was, you know, amazing to work with both him and Sally. They're both legends, you know, so... Uh, yeah, what an amazing experience and opportunity yeah. for me. And also, I was very brave to have uh, uh, a Bert Young in a film, not one with the size of uh, no, him, you know, and, uh, um, but also, I think it was very brave to, you know, to embrace the whole uh, film, the whole project, you know, and, uh, and I'm very grateful for him to, you know, for being part of it, you know, to, uh, he read the script, he loved it, and say, he told me, like, I can do it, you know, and uh, with no objection or anything, you know, he just, like, uh, I like it, and, uh, and I have nothing to say, I like every line in the script, and uh, I'm ready, you know, for it, you know, so I think it's, it's amazing, it's huge for me as, as a, you know, director to be able to direct, you know, uh, such an actor, you know, um, so everything, you know, from the beginning to the end was amazing, you know, and uh, now we are traveling everywhere with the film, and uh, he has been able to attend some screenings with us, him and uh, Sally, so... Um, what, no, was it, what was it like working with uh, Sally Kirk? Uh, Sally is, I haven't ever met anyone as open as Sally, you know, Sally is, she's, um, as a big mom in, on a set, she's, uh, she knows everyone by the name, me as a director, I, I'm embarrassed to say that I don't, I didn't know everyone's name, but uh, she knew, if I have any question on anyone's name, she had, no, she kn knew everyone, and, uh, from the PA to the producers, and, uh, she, um, she was, she was, um, it was such a pleasure for me as a director to be able, uh, to share the same space of those two legends, you know, and that was amazing. I had amazing cast and a crew, so I'm, you know, um, people always say, you know, that the biggest job that director has, you know, 
has on set is to be able to bring the best, you know, uh, uh, the best people to work with, uh, with him or to her, you know. And uh, so I, I was very blessed to have the best. We made your job look easy, right? <laughs> yeah, definitely, you know, and uh, if you have the, the best crew, the best cast, the best location, and uh, so I think well, you are on something, you know. Mm. You also uh, took advantage of Long Island from what you were telling me before. Uh, just tell us about, you know, some of the locations where you shot and maybe uh, maybe an interesting day that happened. Yeah, Long Beach, Long Island. We actually filmed three days before Hurricane Sandy. Um, and, it, you know, obviously afterwards it was just a demolition. We went out afterwards to get some B-roll footage and the boardwalk just completely slept, swept away. It was just like a, a whole, it would have been a whole different film had we decided to film it at that point. But um, beautiful location. Uh, I don't know how you found it, scouted it. Did you always intend to go out there? Uh, yeah, I think uh, um, would be, we are looking for a beach, you know, so it's in New York, you know, so, and I live in Forest Hills, Queens, so I thought it would be the best, you know, place to shoot the film. And also, um, because the city offered to us a really great deal, you know, and, uh, and I'll pray very little, so we have to take into consider consideration as well, because money is always an issue for, you know, <laughs> small productions, you know, and um, it's a beautiful beach, and also the hotel, the Alegria Hotel, gave us uh, uh, the rooms, you know, they host Sally and a bird, so it was a combination of many things why we decided to work with, uh, with uh, um, Long Beach. Um, it was a great experience, you know, it's a beautiful place to shoot the film, and um, it was very sad that we could not do some reshootings at the, the boardwalk because it was all gone but um but it also forces us as a filmmakers to be creative so we have to reinvent ourselves and be able to come up with some strategies and to, to be able to finish the film so what's next for the both of you uh i'm currently i just finished an off off broadway production of tennessee williams summer and smoke uh which was successful i had an amazing time and Flavio actually got to come. Um, I'm currently working on a uh, feature film called Harlem Stories, which is uh, basically different vignettes. And uh, my vignette is going to be called Edgecombe Suites. It's about a, uh, a man who uh, had his dream of being a jazz musician as a younger, younger child, kind of squelched by his father and uh, now has kind of started to act out against that. And he's in the business world in, in New York City, but um, still trying to find his way back into the jazz world. Uh, so uh, we're, we're going to be filming starting uh, this week, actually. So looking forward to that. Good luck with that. Thank and you very much. As, as you can see, I'm surrounded by talented people, you know, that <laughs> skip doing a lot of things. You know, I'm, it was a pleasure work with Jack, and I want to work with him again and again. By the way, we are getting ready to shoot our first uh, feature film, uh, The Garden Left Behind, which probably we get into, we'll get into production April of next year, 2016. And uh, after that, we're going to try to reshoot, do the feature version of Tom in America. So, so everyone, <laughs> so with, uh, I hope Jack would be able to work with me because it was a great experience to work with him. And I hope that uh, you know you guys come to, um, to watch uh, our short film, Tom in America. And, uh, and uh, once we get the feature f uh, version of Tom in America read to, you know, we're going to bring it here again to the yeah. Long Island International right. Film Expo. You know? That's right. Really appreciate it. Thank you for Thank choosing you. life. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you very much.